Welcome, this is the Energy Vibration Reading for all Sun, Moon and Rising Leos. This is the second week of July 2017 and this week is the week of uh, uh, justice. The week of justice comes up with the hair energies. The zodiac energies is going to be water. I want to say thank you to each and every person out there. Thank you for returning. Thank you for supporting my channel. And please listen to your Sun, Moon and Rising sign. This is going to be a wonderful profound week for you layers because there is a lot of majors or corner that is coming up in your reading and this is saying a lot whenever majors or corners are here the moon is here twice so you layers need to look out and be positive because whenever the moon comes up one moon is showing up as your enemy the king of cups and one moon is showing up as uh, your intuition your guides and angels are working with you so this is going to be a very positive week for you guys um, there's a lot of water energies that have effect on you you have the nine of cups and you have the queen of cups and the queen of cups is proven to be somebody who is carrying negative energies negative feelings towards you so you need to be aware on Friday of this Queen of Cups I've been seeing the energy of uh, kids coming up in the reading so whatever is happening in this week the energy vibration of kids coming up the devil is in reverse um, you're walking away from something you're leaving something behind because uh, the energy of the tower is here and the energy of the moon but yet still you're going to be triumphant justice um, it's going to be prevailed because you're going to be triumphant over whatsoever aspect that is going on here so this is good your focus is going to be the energy of let me put my glasses on your focus is going to be the energy of uh, the prince the princess the number two energies so the eye princess is also here so as we work with the energy of the eye princess she's also here it's on my brain the energy of the eye princess is also here so she is watching and this is going to be your focus so you need to bring in the focus of intuition whenever the eye princess comes in a reading and watching over your reading and is your focus for the week it's going to be a week of uh, a lot of uh, um um in a wisdom intuition your intuition is going to be eye on mark because this is the third moon that is in your reading as we look at the energy vibration in this week on monday we have the nine of cups the nine of cups is wonderful because the nine of cups is saying that your wishes and dreams are coming true this is a water energy you begin the week with a water energy vibration and you're and ending the week Monday to Friday with water energy vibration you also have the moon in the weekend so there's a lot of cleansing that is happening this um, um, nine of cups comes up with two four six eight um, um, with a message coming in so your wishes and your dreams are going to come true and they will be coming through with message coming into you a lot of message coming into you on Monday on Tuesday we have the energy of the tower the energy of the tower comes in so whatever that has been blocking you if you had a situation with someone who was an Aries or a Sagittarius or even another um, Aries uh, Leo person whatever the situation was and the blockage was it's coming to an end and there is going to be a positive outcome to that situation in the middle of the week on Wednesday and you're being crowned with the eight of cups the eight of cups is a situation that you're walking away from there is the end this situation doesn't serve you anymore it could be a relationship that you're deciding um, some women are deciding to release and move away from this relationship whatsoever that has been happening with um, someone of your own energy vibration who is a fire sign you're walking away and moving away from it the energy of the devil always signify that it is an Aries person as we look at Thursday we have the page of Pentacles coming up no the page of ones coming up so there's going to be a message about money coming into you this message is going to come via someone who is a Taurus a Virgo or a Capricorn so um, watch out for this on Thursday because whatever message and yeah it could be an organization sending you this message but it's going to come via um, a Taurus a Virgo or a Capricorn person this is good as we move on we look at Friday we have the Queen 
of cups the queen of cups this woman is vibrating on a high energy vibration she has been sending you negative energies and negative things to you and this is um have affect you in some case and now you're moving away from this energy and it is good she has not been positive she has been sending you negative energies and that sort of a thing so you need to be aware of this situation on Friday whatever it is whether you're a woman or a man be aware of what you send back out because it can affect you in the long run okay it's hot <laughs> okay we're looking forward and we're going forward and we have the moon on Saturday and the moon on Saturday this is the second moon be aware because whenever you have the energy of the eye princess being your focus and this there's a moon here in the eye princess there's this huge moon that is coming up again this is the um, moon of intuition intuition so your intuition is going to be very high and, and you're going to be having dreams and information and solution will be coming through through your dreams. So be aware of this. Try and remember your dream. Work with your spirit guides because the intellect can beams and the spirit guides and beams are coming in. So this is going to be positive. On Sunday, you have a huge victory and success. This is huge because this is really the Ace of Sword and this is good. So whatsoever you are having with the Queen of Cups, you are going to victoriously successful come out and whatever she had um, done to you and whatever negative things she has done to you whatever lies she has told and this sort of a thing you're going to win this situation the ten of swords is falling out of your back and you're going to see a positive new situation that is developing in your life and this is going to be extremely good so as we break your week down and we're looking at the the love there is not a lot of love in the week there's going to be celebration and the celebration is going to be as if you're connecting with yourself your spirit guides and um, for the kid for the people who have kids if you have kids if you're a man and you had kids with the Queen of Cups and there seems to be an imbalance in that situation it is going to come to an end okay whatever that was happening if she didn't want you to see the child or whatsoever that was playing out it is going to come to an end because um, this situation is going to be ill this child it's a fire sign person or it could be a hurt sign person and the mother is a cup so it could be a Pisces a cancer or a, a scorpion person but whatever that was playing out the situation with the kid and the mother this is going to be ill you're going to win um, from the mother for other people um, there are a situation that is happening um, in your life so love is not really the focus what is the focus of your um, week is that you're trying um, to bring in um, your wishes and dreams and they're going to happen and um, whoever that was blocking you whatever that was blocking you um, you you know especially for the people who are 18 and um, 35 whatever situation that was happening to you on Tuesday the tower energy comes up and the tower is going to help you and cleanse whatever situation that was happening because when this cleansing comes in this is going to be a huge cleansing because a lot of people will be walking away from a situation and this situation has to do with someone who is an Aries person so look around in your life and see who is Aries who have been causing and and sometimes we don't know that other people are blocking us but this is a week that you're going to realize and see and understand that this Queen of Cups uh, was not vibrating on high energy vibration but whatever is happening your family life is going to be balanced and remember that this year listen to your intuition and you're working with a lot of people to clear a lot of situation in your life um business is is, is just a week about you healing certain situation in your life and certain aspects in your life and the, you know it's all about you on a personal level in this week for you leos as we are working with the unicorns let's see what the unicorn message is for you and it says take off your invisible coat um take off your coat of invisibility and let your light be shine so invisibility is going to be your um let your light shine you know sometimes and this queen of cups uh, 
um, which is a Pisces, a Cancer, or a Scorpio, has been, you know, blocking you. And now it's time that you take off your invisible quarter, let your light shine, and let people see and understand where you are on your part, and listen to your intuition because that is the next message that gets. Listen to your intuition. Intuition. Whatsoever is happening, you need to focus and listen to your intuition. The next deck we're working with is the Ascendants. Uh, Ascendance card deck but from um, Diana, and this is good because now we're going to ask what does the Ascension, um, the Ascension Masters wants to say to the Leas, and it is air. I invoke air to carry angels singing around the world and bring open peace. So, you know, whenever you're outside and if you can remember this, because it's, it's fairly long for some people, I invoke air to carry angels singing around the hope and bring hope and peace. It is so and it will be. Always say it three times. I invoke air to bring angels um, singing around the world and bring open peace. Always, always say it three times. You're guided to ask the unicorns uh, um, to direct Dom and is as you see it to um, spread quality of air and uh, enlightenment, ascension and freedom and divine vision into the minds of those who need it. Ask them to purify the current of air and blow them the polytudes, the areas that needs to be cleansed. So this is going to be good. So help the fairies work with the flowers by acknowledging and appreciating them. So like for people who always have flowers in their home, obviously you're working um, in the spirit side with a fairy, the unseen side, and that's why you have uh, these energies in your house. And I I really want to say thank you. Um, trying to get through these readings. And um, please like, share these videos. Please understand that your week is going to be a one of positive whenever the energy of the tower comes in a week and the energy of the moon. This is an understanding that there is going to be a lot of cleansing. Um, don't forget, if you have a legal suit or whatever is happening, it's going to be balanced out. You don't have to win, but it's going to be balanced out. And I want to say thank you for being here and we'll speak next week.